What is up everyone? This is Absolute Zero here and welcome to my let's play of Finger Bones. So the other day I was looking up new games on Steam that just recently released and I happened to land on this one, a apparently psychological horror game. Uh you can read the name there. David S I'm going to butcher this so bad. David Zemansky. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. I butcher every name I come across. Seriously. So all I know is that this is a psychological horror game and I'm supposed to be able to finish it in one go, about half an hour. Some people have said they finished in 20 minutes. I'm not sure what to expect. <sighs> Another horror game yet again. But what do you want me to do? Seems like, oh my god, this is really sensitive. Holy crap. I'm just going to drop you to not that because that's really bad. Had. All right, things I should be doing before I start my let's plays, but okay. All right, this seems good. I start on spider webs. That's great. Whoa, I move really slowly. Is that normal? Like, really? Okay, I'm gonna turn up the volume a little. That's better. Hopefully there's no jump scares. It's all psychological, right? No cheap jump scares? That'd be great. What is this? When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. True story. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. What, were you having a seizure? I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay. Alright. Not sure what was in the cellar to do that. Can I crouch in any way? Doesn't look like it. It did not say there were any other buttons to use except WASD. And I move freaking slow. Holy crap. Can I interact with anything else? There was a door behind me. That was the exit! Ha ha ha! Exiting the game! Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna reboot the game. And I'm back, guys. Okay. That was so funny. Did not expect it to actually exit the game. Same thing. That hasn't changed. I'm gonna reduce the mouse sensitivity a little more, because holy crap, that was way too much. It still feels like it's way too much, but I'll live. As long as there's no, like, jump scare or running to do. It doesn't feel like there's any running to do, because seriously. There is... Nowhere to run except that exit in which I just exited the game as I found out there is a knife In fact, there are two knives on the counter. Can I interact with them? No, because I actually don't know how old I am. I was gonna assume I was 15 years old, but That was probably a diary. So that was probably a while ago, but hey, what do I know could be Yesterday could have been five years ago could have been 20. I don't know for all I know could have been 80 years old Years old 80 years ago that music, though, it's very eerie. I don't like it. Hi, Mr. Chair. How you doing? Can I open this? Can I? No, this isn't amnesia? Good, because I fucking hate amnesia. I say that, but I completed the game. It was fun, but whatever. I don't want to go through amnesia again. That's a lot of filing cabinets. Okay. Is there anything else I can interact with? Ah, oh, there you go. It's my weekend to get... Caddy. Katie? Catty? I'm gonna say catty. Catty. It's my weekend to get catty, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Oh, I am so sorry, dude. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. Oh. Okay. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay. The price of knowledge, eh? Seriously, I swear to God, if there are jump scares, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. But I guess that's what jump scares are supposed to do anyway. Uh, hello? Am I just alone? Hey, flashlight. That's cool. Flashlights are very useful to have. Um, the only thing I don't understand is why they gave it to me so late. Uh, block? You gonna do something for me? Something here? I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. I guess she wanted that. Okay. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay. I'm scared to, like, turn around and, like, find something in my face. But it's a psychological horror. I'm trying to, like, keep myself from freaking out by to keep by constantly telling myself that. Are you an air vent? What are you? Seriously. 
like a broken light or something. There is a knife. I don't suppose there's anything else I could interact with. There is more knives. Okay, can't interact with those despite being able to see them now. All right, I suppose that's useless. Um, what is that? What is that? It's like... I actually have honestly no idea what that could be. It's like, I don't know. It reminds me of something to... To grill... No, I don't know. I don't... A grill? Yeah, sure, let's do that. It appears to be a page from the manuscript... From a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morally... If... I cannot read, guys. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove that this is immoral. Fair enough. Alright. If that's what you think. So many spider webs. Did I mention I'm not a fan of spiders? I'm not a fucking fan of spiders. Alright. There's nothing here. What? There has to be more to do in this game. I don't... I don't... Is there si Oh wait, no, there's something on this side. Looks like a creepy old thing. Hi? Hi! What did that do? Please don't kill me. That spot is red now, I suppose I should go to it. What is it? Oh, let me guess. Password. Catsy. No? What? Did I since- did I actually get it wrong? Are you freaking kidding me? I thought I read that properly. It's my weekend to get caddy. You're right. He would say that because he's divorced, so it should be his weekend, his turn to have caddy. But the password is supposed to be her name, caddy, is it not? Am I crazy? Did I misread something? Uh, is... I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy. Yeah, so I assume the password is Katie, and I don't know why it's not working. Come on, let me freaking give it, give it, let me freaking frack. Give me, Katie. Fuck you. Damn it, it's totally Katie. You know it is. Let me in. Oh, Whatever. Oh, I'm in my survival bunker. I just made that connection. <laughs> I'm so smart. Well, there's no jumping button either. Seriously? Am I crazy? What's the password? Someone tell me password. I shook and tr Okay. Is there something I need to be deducing here that I'm not aware of? Is there something else I didn't see? Is there like... Wait, there are two doors here. Oh no, don't do this to me. Oh no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. I don't want to hear a girl crying. Nor do I want to hear that in a horror game. That's the most terrifying thing to hear. It's finally happened. The whole world is in chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. What? I'm ecstatic beyond words, but I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Uh-oh. Katie and I only survived because we ran, the bun ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Okay, everyone is dead. That's great. That's great to know. I can go down there. I can go through the room. I am scared. I am very scared. I see a note. No, no, no. No, no, don't do that. That's fucking creepy. 
The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Okay. Alright. Oh man, guys, this is getting really creepy. Alright, which way do I go? Door first. Okay, obviously not the door first. This thing here. Okay, obviously not that either. Really? So, what? I'm supposed to get something from this? What was that noise? I'm legit scared to look. What was that? Alright, I did get one extra name to work with, though. And it's Lin. Whoops, wrong button. Alright, I guess I have to go enter Lin, then. Hi! Did anything change? Did something change while I was gone? Honey, I'm home! And my honey, not the one I divorced. Oh god, this is so sad now. <laughs> this took a different turn. Alright, I'm guessing it's Lin. Really? Really? Well, what's the fucking password then? Seriously? I'm pretty sure Katie was the daughter's name. What do you want from me? Seriously? Ugh. I don't- is there a- I, let me figure this out, guys, seriously. Like, where the fuck am I supposed to find it? I legitimately don't know where to be looking right now. Nothing else is responding to my touch. What is this? Seriously. Alright, let's check this one more time! I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Alright, seriously, where the fuck is- I don't know what to do! God damn it! That's the exit, not exiting. Nope. Should I be able to see her name somewhere? Like, ugh. I know it was the name of the bunker or something. No, the tool. Tool shed? Whatever it was. I'm going back down. God, it's creepy to come in here. Well, if we hear a girl crying, it's either me going crazy or... Uh, there's an actual girl in here. Okay, let me read this one more time. I see Katie, I see Lynn. I'm guessing Lynn is the ex-wife, but that's an assumption. Katie definitely has to be the... Can I pick up that thing, whatever it is? No? Oh. Really? That was all there was to it? Great, now time to go into this room. Fuck, it's dark. Oh god. This is gonna suck, guys. I hate you guys. Even though I'm the one that started to play this game. I feel like the music changed. Is it just me? It got creepier. Oh god, guys. I don't know why I'm doing this. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. She's a child, man. I turned her crayons into candles. Oh, okay. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps... What's that noise? God, it's a freaky sound. And it helps break out the monotony. Monotony. Okay. I yearn for the excitement of those first few weeks. Why is that such a huge thing for you? I see a lot of knives. And a saw. I'm not sure I like that. There are th <sighs> Guys, it's so creepy. I don't know if you understand how creepy that is to me. Oh my god. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. Okay, what is- what are those desires, if I may ask? I've- it's been nearly a year since I- oh no. No. I don't like where that's going. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. What? No. No. I don't like where that's going at all. At all. I also don't like that I'm in a dark room. Guys, I'm really scared. I'm really fucking scared. Really fucking scared. I hate you guys. I hear more noise. What is that? Okay, well, here goes nothing. Is there anything here? No, just a lot of tools. I changed the storage room code to something I could easily remember. N-N-Y. 
What? The rest of the world is missing. The rest of the word is missing. Uh. N and Y. Okay. Wait. Isn't that the reverse of Lin? I'm pretty sure that's the reverse of Lin. Alright. I mean, I could keep guessing, but... What's happening? What's happening? Why can't I move? Oh, it was a bug. Okay. That scared me. I thought something was about to happen to me, but I guess it turns out it was just a bug. Like, for some reason, I couldn't move. I was just moving really slowly, and I was like, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You know, amnesia style. Let me guess. N-N-Y-L. No? Fuck you. I'm pretty sure that was right. What is it then? N N Y. What do you want from me? Hey. God damn it, guys. Maybe I was supposed to open that. Oh, right. There was a hatch I could open too. I suppose I should go back there. Um, okay. So far, I don't think there will be any jump scares except maybe at the end, which I do not look forward to, but. God, it's so creepy because. Ugh, girl. God damn it. But just by reading what has happened, like, that's fucking scary. Almost seems to imply that... Me, the father, wants to... Have these... Seem to, like... Allow myself to... So, like, why couldn't I push it before? Is it just the way I'm standing, then? Like, if I... Okay. Hello? I am a bag of DNA and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient... That sound, God. Where was I? To my ancient ape, -es ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination. What? Wow. He doesn't like anything of that stuff, does he? Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. He really does not care for any of that stuff. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on Earth, for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Oh, Jesus, I heard more noise. Um. Okay, there's a button here. I don't know what that did, to be honest, and I'm kind of scared. Guessing that opened the hatch. Hello? Okay, well, the switch did something, I'm sure. I'm just not sure what. I guess I'll go back upstairs and figure it out. Oh, this is just getting creepy. God damn it. Alright. What did you do for me? If anything. Anything? Hello? God, guys, this is fucking creepy. God, let me... Uh. Okay. How come that doesn't produce a sound? That's weird. Okay, what did that switch do? Seriously, my god. I'm so bad at video games. Whoa, that almost looks like it produces a shadow of a man. That's kind of scary. Okay. Please tell me I can open you. Why can't I open you? God freaking damn it. Did I miss, like, not read something? To something I can easily remember. Now, what would I be able to easily remember? Noise. I will remember that noise forever. Good God. Things I wanted to do, blah, 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 blah. Not cool. At least I don't think so. What was that noise? That scared me. That actually fucking scared me. What was that? It's like usually the sound a video game makes when a monster appears, you know? It's fucking creepy. I mean, 
I've pushed it already, so I can't push it again. What now? Jesus. Seriously, come on! Is there a bug? Alright guys, give me some time. I really need to figure this out. Ugh, guys, I not... Wait. Wait, what? Oh, that was it, really? Oh my god, for real. Okay. Um, let's see. What's in here, then? Whoa, that's something. The cellar is freedom. The cellar is freedom? What does that mean? Hello? Uh, the cellar is... Wait, the... Oh, could that be the password, then? Hmm... Or not? No? Wait, they clearly make different sounds. Wait, maybe I... Maybe that sound is actually me getting it right then? Uh... So wait, I, I guess I have been getting it right then. So like, Katie, Lynn... Um... Backwards, Lynn... I guess I need to go downstairs now. Maybe that thing is unlocked now? Please don't hurt me. <sighs> I'm scared. Where am I? <sighs> What's happening to me? What? What's happening? What's happening? There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die any- Really? You would do that? And I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. That's... F fucking terrible, dude! What did you do to her? It seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss? I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe up... ...stairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. God, the father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her even now. It's peaceful in the cellar. Something, something, something. That was the end of it. Guys, that is... That is... Fucking creepy. Oh my god. Okay, so this guy obviously lost his sense of moral... He lost his sense of morality eventually, and I guess he found happiness in that, which is creepy. He let his daughter die so that he could be happy. What the hell? Holy crap. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this Let's Play of Finger Bones. That's the game. If you want to go play it, go check it out yourself. It's on Steam. It is free to play. That's why I picked it up. Uh, but yeah, holy crap. That was freaky as hell. I did not like that. Oh my god. Alright, okay. Like this video if you liked it, and make sure you share it around if you want to show other people what this game is all about. But, until my next video, my name is Absolute Zero. Always remember to keep it absolutely cool, everyone. Okay, that scares me. No! Going down! What? How 